If a replication job is defined without modifying any settings on a schedule tab, when will the job first run? 10 p.m. after the corresponding backup job, never immediately. Okay. So if you've done the lab exercises, this is actually not a too difficult question uh, in this example here. I might go and launch a lab and just go to the window and check. But for the purposes here, let's just say replication job. Close a couple of these windows here. Create a replication job. And we'll go down to the defined job schedule. And notice here at the schedule step of the wizard, select to run the replication job manually, or schedule the job to run on a regular basis. To run the job automatically, select the run the job automatically checkbox. If you don't do select this, you will have to start the job manually, which tells us the default here is that the job starts manually. So let's go down and take a look here. Hopefully there's a screenshot, right? So if we go back, the first one says at 10 p.m. It says 10 p.m., so that's that's tempting, right? But the thing is, if we didn't even select this checkbox, it's going to run manually. So while we can see here, someone put the checkbox, the default then becomes daily 10 p.m. This is a good distractor, but it's set without modifying any settings on the schedule tab, which is where we are. Right? So this is going to be wrong. After the corresponding backup job, no, because then I would have to, first of all, put the checkbox and select this one here and then select the backup job. That's definitely also not without making any changes. Immediately, actually, no, that would be uh, on the summary tab, there's going to be a extra checkbox here to run the job when I click finish. So that's not even on the schedule tab. So the correct answer here would be never, just because of what we saw up here at the top. Right? If you do not select this checkbox, which would be a different setting than doing nothing, then it will have to start manually.